Okay. So welcome everybody. Welcome today, the 29th of February. Happy leap year. Yay. So, um, so yeah, talking about leap and talking about, uh, you know, just <coughs> making a step and really having the faith to move forward. We are going to carry on our conversation today on orange uh, fire walk. And my intention is to take you through a meditation with the fire elemental, which is a beautiful deep orange. We used that last week and we went through a meditation. That's the, the, the spritzer or spray. Uh, it's part of the calomero system in case, you know, those of you haven't heard of calomeros before or you're just new on these calls. Uh, you are very welcome. This call is recorded and that's why you can actually watch it again afterwards or you can share it. When I, once I get the link out, you can share with the people in your circles, the people that may like to know more about what you're involved with as well. So uh, it's already 12 minutes past seven. <laughs> so we're going to make it. Let's, let's crack on. Uh, so if you do have the fire uh, elemental uh, those of you who are involved with color mirrors, it's great if you just spray and, and just uh, take, a, you know, smell and just feel the connection with uh, the energy of uh, the elemental. And uh, I'm going to take you through uh, meditation. Uh, just uh, then I'll tell you why this fire elemental, you know, how it can help you. It's basically absolutely beautiful when you're going through changes in your life, when you're feeling a bit stuck and you need a bit more energy, a bit more courage to move forward. Uh, it could be because you feel a bit, uh, also if you've got any issues uh, in your relationships or feeling that you don't, you know, you have a little bit, feel alienated or you want to connect more with people, that gives you that connection with, with life more. So if it's a beautiful, irrespective of going through age changes or not, it's a beautiful meditation anyway, because through the meditation, what is happening, you are, you are taking the time to connect and release anything that you feel that holds you back, anything that you feel that could possibly keep you small at this particular stage in your life. And then this is a very, very short but quite deep meditation, and then take the time to to go step by step, and then it's, it's what we call mindfulness meditation. And also you create some lovely visuals and images in your mind and then connect with your heart as well. So drop in your heart, connect with Mother Earth, put your feet down on the ground, and uh, when you just close your eyes and I will start the meditation now. So if you have breathed in the, the essence, so... Uh, find yourself outside a copper temple. At the entrance to the temple is a tall man dressed in pale blue. With a blue turban. Well, I'll tell you why we're using blue here in a little while. He takes your hand and escorts you into the temple. In the center of the temple is a flame and is as tall as you are. You walk towards the flame and the man releases your hand. You have to do this on your own. For a moment, think of what it is that you are ready to release. Take a moment and just feel into what you are ready to release. Something that doesn't serve you anymore. Something or somebody or a feeling that is not working for your higher good. When you're ready, be brave and step into the flame. Let this cleansing flame Burn up everything that still keeps you small. Let it burn up everything that keeps you from being magnificent because you are magnificent. As you stand in that flame, begin to feel the energy of the fire dragon. 
stepping into your energy field and into your body. Expand into the vastness and power of this being. The salamander and the phoenix are the, are the beings that have claimed their fire energy. Let their energy into your being. Feel your courage expanding and your power, your light and your beauty. When you're ready, step out of the flame and feel how tall and light you feel. The ascended master that helped you into the flame meets you and puts his hands together and bows his head to you. He lifts his head and looks into your eyes and says, Well done. The initiation is successfully completed. Thank him and walk out of the temple. And while you're taking, walking out of the temple, just take the time to gradually bring yourself back to consciousness, back into the room. When you're ready, open your eyes and join us again. Are you all back? <sighs> so I'm going to unmute you now because I had to... Uh... So is there anyone who would like to share how it was for them to go through this fire walk? <laughs> how was it how was it was it uh you know i thought it was relaxing was it <laughs> yes yeah wow okay that, that's good that's good, that's good uh, because it's uh, you know you're you're asked yourself to do something quite you know very very powerful it requires a lot of courage to step into that flame Although maybe, you know, you may think it's not real, but at the same time, if you have managed to create that visual in your head, you know, stepping into that or even deciding what you're releasing, uh, it is a big step for you. So if you have done that, well done to you, because sometimes we don't take that time to say, what, what is keeping me small? What is it that really keeps me small? Or it doesn't allow me to be as visible as I want to be or I can be. Yeah. So if we what, was interesting, what was interesting for me, Krizula, is that when you asked the question, it just popped into my head straight away. I didn't have to think about it. It was just very automatic, uh, what, I, what was holding me back. Would you like to share? Because uh, maybe, maybe that's an opportunity to make it even more real by sharing. Yeah, yeah I'm happy to share. The, the word doubt came into my head, and okay. I think it's probably around self-doubt. Yeah. You know, when, when you're um, in, in this kind of world and you're taking responsibility, particularly for other people's lives, you know, there's always an element that says, well, can, can I do this? Even though you've got lots of evidence and lots of people saying, well, you've made a massive difference. Mm -hmm. For me, there's still that small part that says, is, is this gonna, am I, am I gonna be able to keep this up? <laughs> you know, is this really real? And, and I'm, am I the right person <clears throat> to do this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, th these are the questions that ultimately every single one of us have got in our heads. Yeah. And it's, it's only healthy to, to feel that, you know, because we are humans and the ego kicks in and, of course, fear ultimately takes over. Mm. But this is also, that's why these calls are here or that's, you know, this kind of safe, nurturing space where you can... Say, hold on a second, why am I doubting myself? What am I doubting myself? You know, uh, 
what do I need to get rid of that doubt? What do I need to move forward with whatever project, whatever plan I've got? Um, and then, uh, and then this is this is where you know probably immerse yourself in some orange could be a possibility, or or yeah, because it's it's a very it's a very nurturing color from that point of view as well. Mm. Um, so it could be various things that you could you can all through that meditation, you know, you know probably you're feeling more empowered that mm -hmm. actually you felt you felt that connection with the word doubt and you can actually now you can even go back and in your in your journal make a note write down what's happening you know anything that pops up to for you um i think that's that's a wonderful way of, of using the meditation um not only live here but what's happening afterwards mm -hmm. yeah yeah is that uh, wonderful? Thank you, Jill. Is there any, anybody else who would like to say, you know, their personal experience with uh, the fire elemental? Yes. Nikki? Um, when I met the man at the, at the doorway and you said he was in blue, I automatically went to trust. Yes. Of course. Um, and I was asked to do a fire walk, just before, a real fire walk, just before Christmas. And I was really ready for it, and it got cancelled. So this oh. fire thing's been hanging over me, actually, because... <laughs> oh, dear. Um, but when I actually stepped through the flame, I thought, I've got to trust that I will be totally safe. Yeah. And, and the blue came into me then. I felt I was smothered in blue, almost like the cool of the blue mm. to calm the heat of the orange. Um... And perfectly safe. At the end was Metatron, and I was linking to orange and magenta. Mm -hmm. um, and it's actually really easy once you step, take that first step. It's the first step of courage that blocks you. Yeah, yeah, it does. It so, does. what's the significance of the blue, Kazula? Well, <laughs> the blue. Well, if you use the orange. Um, uh, deep orange elemental fire elemental with the blue angel which is you know like the blue together it gives you that extra boost to help you to communicate and be more visible and speak up maybe maybe Nikki, Nikki in her case you felt it more because maybe that's an area that you can work on mm -hmm. you feel mm -hmm. you could actually you know feel supported yes. by blue but this is where you can bring out more of your your truth of your your yeah. your skills your talent um, and blue is also complementary isn't it to the orange it is yeah. yes 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 yeah, that makes sense yeah so w working with these two spritzers or you know sprays <laughs> uh, it, if you are if you go something you know you go some sort of you hold yourself back or you don't speak up or whatever when we talked about with Nikki coming on my radio show and she was she was a bit reluctant. She, you know, what are you, Nikki? So she says, yeah, yeah, I can see there's a possibility. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, that would be that would be a great firework for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would. Yes. So um, bear in mind that uh, the call is very short and sweet, and uh, and we've got forty minutes overall. Now. Ben, is there anything you'd like to mention uh, as part of your of the meditation or fire elemental or anything personal experience? The fire elemental for me helped to release the past life um, when I did it on the practitioner's course. And it was a past life where I'd been in Spain before, but I was actually a member of the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> wow, wow. I know, how funny is that? So here I am doing exactly the opposite in Spain now, sort of anchoring the light instead of working for the dark. But it makes total sense, I think, yes. because I never had a desire to come to Spain. I'd never been to this part of Spain. So it, it really did, really was a powerful, a very powerful meditation when I did it. Mm -hmm. um, I love the fire elemental, um, but I do also go into the blue, and the blue is very much about the protection, but it's also about the angelic connection as well. Yes. And of course, yes. you know, Penny Wing, and I work with angels, so it's, <laughs> and that's my real name. Um, yes, so it's quite, quite odd, that really, but it did. It really passed past life from the Inquisition, so apologies if I've ever burnt anybody this evening. <laughs> 
it is what it is. It's past life. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so so it's that's I love I love color. I love color energies because you it Oh bless you, Jill. It, it works on different levels. You yeah. know, it, uh, and past life is one of them. Uh, releasing obstacles or releasing anything that holds you back is another one. Healing, you know, any traumas. There's yeah. so many different aspects that you, you, color works with. And then also you have the vibration of food. So for you, Jill, you know, when you work with, you know, as a nutritionist, fractional nutritionist, you know, working and the style more of color can help you, you know, support your, your clients. So I have to find some blue food though. <laughs> Smarties don't count. As I said, I think you can blow Smarties away, I think. Yeah. So, <laughs> I think you need to be saying lots of lots of blue, lovely sea. Maybe that would be that would be good. Maybe that's it. <laughs> okay. So we the rest of the call, um, I would like to just uh, concentrate on the area of of in our body, which is uh, the gut. And we mentioned that uh, a few weeks ago. When we talk about gut, also if you think about orange, orange is connected with that area, orange color. So because the gut is anything to do with uh, digestion, and, but also there's so much more than that, that in the last couple of months, or more like a couple of months, I've been really researching and learning more about it. The gut is actually our second brain. So if we don't look after our gut, basically there are lots of things that manifest in our bodies. Uh, and one of them is mental confusion or not being very clear with what our next step is. So I'm just giving you an example. So looking after our gut health is fundamental when it comes to being creative. So that's why I'm bringing all this together. So Jill... I would like to give you this chance to talk about gut health. Uh, I know you're also a wonderful Pilates instructor, and I, you know, building the core muscles, they're equally you know, important because they support your back, which, is, which you know, gives you much more strength on your back and your spine. So, but if we have the next five minutes, if you just uh, share with us a few things about the importance of gut health, uh, I know that we don't have, you know, a lot of time like we do on, on a radio show, but mm -hmm. if, if you can just be specific in your opinion the, based on that. Well, I think, um, I think you're absolutely right. You know, you, you hear the expression um, uh, gut reaction, don't you? Mm. And, uh, and certainly when you get nervous, um, you know, the tendency is to have to rush to the loo. So there is this link between the gut, definitely. And, and as, as you say, it's the second brain. And I, I had a, a specific kind of reason for looking at this because my son, Matthew, who's now 23, uh, was born for a variety of reasons with a very ill-formed Ill gut, a very bad functioning gut. And it was really interesting to me. It was only really in the last two, three years that I've realized how his mental health was related to the function of his gut. And when he was a little boy, he used to get into very bad moods. In fact, we called him Stumpy <laughs> from when he was about four because he used to stomp around the house. And he used to say to his daddy, I've got a big black cloud over my head. Oh. Um, and it was really upsetting because we're very, I've got two daughters and we're all very upbeat people. And, and it was all a bit confusing, really, until I started to really understand how the gut is so important in, in mental health and specifically if you have a poor functioning gut how that can influence it and when I when I began to look at the correlation my son um, was diagnosed with IBS at 11 um, in fact he'd always had an ill functioning gut and of course when I look back now I can understand how you know this is definitely been a big influence on the whole of his life mm -hmm. and when we began to heal his gut with things like probiotics digestive enzymes um uh, aloe, things like aloe vera which is soothing and calming mucilaginous herbs like slippery elm when we did all of those sorts of things then he started to improve not only physically but also mentally as well and mental clarity um, being able to concentrate all of those things is so important mm -hmm. 
And, uh, you know, in the inflammatory process in the gut, which is what's going on if you do have a malfunctioning gut, that inflammatory process, as you say, helps with, you know, in, impacts on memory, concentration. Um, it's proven that probiotics have a big part to play in the development of Alzheimer's. So really, um, from my point of view as a functional nutritionist, it's about putting the gaps into your diet that will help you to maintain that good gut health and therefore impact in this case you know your your mental health as well mm. but it has so much more to do with that i mean <clears throat> of course it has of, yes yeah, yes yeah, 80 percent uh, of your immunity is in your gut you know so it's just so important yeah thank you jill thank you um you also jill you you've got a a, a fabulous uh, sort of knowledge into supplements that are re required for good gut health uh, what I will do in my in the next uh, supplement because I sent out um, a newsletter golden news about the golden newsletter I send in weekly but also for this course I've got a supplement particularly okay. based on you know the live course of what we're discussing so I could put a, a, a link into you know yeah got a blog article if you got or any any anybody else here on the call if you got something that you would like me to to add on something you prepared already and then i can just put a link to your website or a link to something you you'd like to share then by all means send it over to me via facebook or via an email and then i will include it okay great when's that going out Krasula? it's going to go out uh wednesday wednesday okay yeah I yeah, certainly do that. Thursday is a, is a is a I'm busy with the world yeah, with the day, show, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the show, uh, and then Friday I'm teaching all day, so I'd like to send it out by Wednesday. Okay. Okay. So and also next next month I'd like to to mention to you now and to all of you who's gonna be listening back to the recording. Next month, next uh, yeah, the next color we're going to to explore is yellow. Mm -hmm. Um. I thought that March for me is yellow flowers. Daffodils. Daffodils. <laughs> a, a bit more sunshine, a bit more spring, you know, feel like, you know. Uh, so I thought yellow and the sun, yellow and the sun, the two together. Uh, so there's so many other areas that we can explore during yellow. So if uh, Nikki or Penny, there's something you would like to talk about in the next, yeah. in the next call, uh, let me know which which area you would like to to you know to, to share you know if they say uh, because we are talking about the solar plexus on the yellow yeah. on our chakras um, and then is is connecting with our power and there are so many areas we, you know I will leave it to you to have to have a have a think um, but let me know if you could buy tomorrow at some point because I can include that also in the supplement uh, going out. To all the people who have already uh, shown an interest in the, in the holistic course. Um, right, so ha I'd just like to give you a space if you've got any questions, if you'd like to ask anything regarding gut health or regarding creativity, or if you've got any other ideas you would like to mention or share on the call, um, because we've got uh, five minutes left. So, if there's anything, <laughs> the, call goes, I, the call goes so quick doesn't it it does go so quick but i think uh the what i mentioned last week is uh and i, I share also on on facebook as you may have seen is is the quote by albert einstein creativity is intelligence having fun and for me, whatever we do, whatever we are involved with, whatever we bring out in the world, first of all, ask the question, am I actually enjoying it? Am I having fun? You know, because at the end of the day, if I don't connect with what I do, how on earth am I expecting anybody else to connect and have fun with what I offer? So my first question to you, and then, you know, you don't need to answer now is whatever we whatever you are involved with whatever you create first mm -hmm. of all put yourself as the priority and ask how fun how enjoyable how pleasure do I get from this if it doesn't give you any pleasure don't do it <laughs> that's a really good you idea know, don't mm -hmm. do it you know just you know this course here for me they give me so much pleasure <laughs> to connect with all of you 
And it may require, you know, some organization behind the scenes to get it upright and connect with everybody and send newsletters. Oh, but I do it from my heart because I really love it. I really enjoy doing it. Um, and probably from March onwards, you know, I will increase the duration of the course so we can have a bit more time and, you know, see how we can explore and evolve at the same time. But yes, just the, have, a, have, a, have a think, you know, make a note or whatever. What will pop up in the next, you know, later on? Or if you have a dream or is there any signs? The Life Holistic Course is, is, a, is a space for you to take some ideas, but also after the call, what's happening? You know, are you becoming more aware of, of you know, different symptoms in your body? Are you becoming more aware of different signs of people, what people say to you, how people respond to you? You know, it could be a Facebook message or it could be something that you saw in the middle of the street or you hear somebody talking to somebody. It doesn't matter, but for me, becoming more conscious is, is fundamental, you know, in our own evolution. Uh, and I, I hope that this course give you that, you know, it could, be, it could be something small, it could be something like a big aha moment. Uh, whatever it is, I just, I just hope that is, you take something away from the call. It's nice to actually connect with other people. Yes. Uh, like minded. Yes. And to hear the voices rather than just see the stuff on Facebook. Absolutely. Absolutely. For me, I find that really important because in, in Spain, I don't have the same. In, in the UK, you have a big tribe. Mm -hmm. uh, in Spain, it's different. And, and at times, it can feel quite isolating over here. Yes. So it's yes. nice to be able to tune in and talk to other like minded people. Oh, Penny, you're very welcome. And you are my ambassador of bringing more Spanish people on board. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Spanish. I don't speak enough Spanish. But I'm, get, I'm getting the English speakers. I'm getting the English speakers. Yeah. But it's, more, it's a good <laughs> Yeah. Well. Because uh, this is the other thing people probably they don't realize, that when you are on, online, this is the magic of technology these days. You can connect from anywhere in the world. Uh, it doesn't take long to get on Zoom and download, you know, that on your laptop. It's straightforward, and that's all, that's all it takes. So, so by all means, if you feel drawn to this course, uh, you need to pre-register. Uh, those of you that are already on the call, you don't need to pre-register every time. Uh, but those of you who, who are watching it and then you like to come on board, please do pre-register all the information is on my website chrisulasirigu.com uh, and then there's a, a link there which says live holistic calls i've created a video where i give a bit of uh, my energy and passion into it, why I'm, I'm creating this and why i'm offering this to, to all of us uh, it's a co-creation and i would love you to carry on being here part of this of this platform and this community so thank you so much because it's it's the end of the of the of the call. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the call yeah, again. Thank you. So I go, to, uh, I go to Glastonbury. I go to Glastonbury on Wednesday. So you never know. I might have something to tell you about that next week. I don't know. Brilliant, brilliant. Have a have a, have a lovely time. Have lots of fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Maureen, okay. see you on Thursday at the World Book Day. Yeah. I hope it goes well on Thursday. <laughs> yes, yeah. oh, it's going to be fabulous. Sorry, Jill, you're not going to be with us. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Nikki, I'll see, I'll see you next time. Thank you so Lovely. much. Bye Thank now. You. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.